the first projects that I took on when I was at Google was to build our strategy for employees with disabilities at Google and also working with our accessibility team. And it really opened my eyes. And I think one of the challenges that folks in the disability community face, and I, I actually like to say it's people of different abilities, so right. that we focus on what people can do as opposed to focusing on what they can't do, which is that people are very blatant about their biases, about what blind people can or cannot do, or what types of things people with physical or other disabilities can or cannot do. And, and really, they bring another perspective, another point of view, and we need to think about that. And we need to think about that in terms of if we are working with a vendor and they bring in a new platform that we're going to use for our employees, do they have an accessible site? Have we thought about those things? Have we thought about that in our RFPs? And I know at Google, we started to do some of that work, not because we were forward thinking, but because we made some really bad mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I think for some organizations, if you don't get ahead of it, that's what happens. You make mistakes. Um, and it's such an opportunity. And I remember uh, Brian Bashan, who's the executive director of Lighthouse for the Blind in San Francisco. And one of the things that he said to me is, the people with disabilities community it's the only minority that we are all one accident away from joining. Mm -hmm. And so we need to think about that. And also, if we think about the graying of our workforce, right, a lot of the things that universal design promotes actually help us as we get older. Enjoy this video from InspireFest, then click on the link to get your hands on ultra early bird tickets for InspireFest 2017 and make sure you're in the audience for this exciting international event.